So just like the others, I'm going to set up two equivalent ratios to make my proportion. And I'm going to look at the question. It says, what percent of 65 is 13? So we're going to look for clue words. Anybody see clue words? Of 65. And what else? Is 13. Okay. So going back to my proportion, what number belongs here on the right, bottom corner? Always 100. Now let's look over here. It says of 65. And remember, it's is over of equals percent over 100. So of 65, does that belong on the top here, the top here, or the bottom? The bottom. The bottom, because it's of. So 65 is here. Then is 13, does that belong here or over the 100? Over 65. Over the 65, because it's is over of. Now, because I'm not given a value for percent, that's what I am looking for. So my answer will end up being percent. So now I've set up my proportion. Next step is to do what? Cross multiply. Cross multiply. Jay, did you have a question? Okay. Okay, hold on to it. 65 times x? 65x. Just 65x. And please make sure you're writing these steps because this is what I want to see. Then 13 times 100? 1,300. 1,300. And then I have this equation, 65x equals 1,300. These two are being multiplied, so yes, Tony? I do what? Divide by what? 65. By 65. Only to one side or both sides? Both sides. Both sides. 65 over 65 gives me 1. X is left. Now this, I might have to pull to the side and work out. 1,300 divided by 65. 65 doesn't go into 1. It doesn't go into 13. But how many times does 65 go into 130? Twice, which is 130. 65 into 0? So 20 times. Now, let's look up at the top again. It says what percent of 65 is 13? So this is 20%. Thank you, Jay. My answer is 20%. Yes, Bailey. Are you going to put this one on YouTube? Yes.